This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute, keep it mute, or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view in 3, a 2, a 1. I'm Nina, bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> Hello, 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 hello. It's me, Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fafana, Osama, Bin Laden, Brown. And welcome to my home. Me and my child, Chucky, welcome you to a ultimate experience of climactual pleasure. Over here in Nina's Raw View, you will indulge in quite the specimens of treatment that we have to offer. We offer the finest cuisines and the finest diner experiences. But if you don't know how to keep it cute, keep it mute, you will get the boot. Meaning, darling, if you come here and you can't value other people's opinions, you will be blocked and chopped immediately. But if you make it through, you will find peace and harmony among all of my piggies. <laughs> Everybody say love. Oh, okay, did that make you sick? It made me sick too. <laughs> Welcome back guys. Okay, so look, you're gonna have to excuse my child. So y'all know I gave him a makeover, right? I showed pictures and all that on Instagram and videos and all that. And I did a really good job. Like, I actually made him look, like, alive. But then, for some reason, the makeup ended up, like, making him look really tan after a while. So then I, like, tried to, like, go get, like, some lighter ivory foundation powder. Put it over him. It looked fine. But then it started turning gray. So then I had to literally get acetone and literally take up all the makeup. I even rubbed off some of his freckles, so now I have to do all this over again. But he still looks cute, and I'm gonna just... Uh, I will have him back in no time. I will. I will. But speaking of Chucky, you know, those of y'all have been asking me, where can you donate? Y'all want to help me get some more dolls? Y'all want me to get the Tiffany, the Glenda, and all that stuff, which I appreciate? You can donate at Nina Doll. Fund. That's Nina Doll Fund. Or you can email and and send whatever over to my email for my booking email. Serious inquirers only. Nina B dot bookings at gmail.com. But for serious inquirers only. But all this information will be in the description box below. But yes, we are here for a season 14 reveal of the girls. And I've been saying I can know somebody that's on there, so I'm very excited to see how they do. And if they do better than me, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. We will get there. Um, but yeah, we're doing that. And I actually watched the Christmas, The Bitch Who Stole Christmas. Let's just say it's one of those movies that you never watch again. I felt like it was RuPaul trying to show Netflix, please make a season two for AJ and the Queen. And it just didn't work, I'm sorry. It was kind of bad. But the best part to come out of that movie though was James Mansfield. The woman, the head housewife of Clinton Court, and the one of the last 11 winter balls. Give it up for my sister James, even though she's been a little shady, but give it up for James Mansfield, even though his 
face was a little yellow and the rest of the body was kind of pink and was really felt but anyway <laughs> no for real for real though james was the best part of that show he really was like he and they actually gave him like a, a main character role i'm like james proved to the girls that bitch i am somebody i am talented uh y'all thought i was nobody on season nine but look at me girl so i really am ha was happy to see her and i was there y'all didn't see my part <laughs> And Shay, I should have been Black China. <laughs> Wait, nobody's there. See, I was right there. And I watched the Queens of the Universe. So I thought about raw viewing that. But then when I watched it, I don't know if I want to raw view it. Like, I feel like literally it's a show where girls who auditioned for Drag Race didn't get on. So they're making them do this. <laughs> I will say, a couple of the girls really can sing. Like, they really can sing. Like, my my favorite singer of that whole night, I believe, had to be the yodeler. He taught me to yodel. He Bitch, she yodel lead, yodel la, yodel lay, yee-hoo, all over the place, bitch. And I heard that she's being canceled right now about some trans stuff. I'm like... Oh, the drag race girls, the drag race fans. When will they stop? You have a whole new batch of girls to harass now, season 14. Leave these queens of the universe alone. Y'all are gonna have to ignore my contacts because you may look, you may be looking at me and then you'll be like, wait, why is her eye going that way? <laughs> these contacts, they're beautiful, but they shift around. Like, I'm just like, I don't know why. They just shift. I have no idea. It's like, are my pupils like rotating? Like, I don't get it. But honestly, I'm actually grateful for these contacts because one eye can look at Chucky because you never know what he's doing. You might try to snap on a bitch. Girl, you never know with her. So, let's go ahead and read the tips and stuff and get to it. Well, it won't take long to read the tips because y'all barely tip. So now I know, in future raw views, give y'all 10 minutes. Thank you, Christine Vera. Thank you, Tracy S. for the two tips. Thank you, love. Thank you, Yolanda Dixon. Thank you, Richard Matchman. Thank you, Dr. Stevo. Are you a real doctor? Yeah, yeah, like you have money, honey, trust? What kind of doctor are you? Like, can you like give me like cheekbones and like, can you give me like heavy balls? Let me know. Thank you, Madison Thomas. Thank you, Carlos Alva. Thank you, Jordan Covington. Thank you, Helen Lopez. Thank you, Al Jade. Thank you, Anita. Ah, yeah, la, la, la. Thank you, love. Not for Tiffany Deese. Oh, Anita, that's you, bitch. I can't. <laughs> Thank you, Shay McNuggets. Thank you, Brenda Cole. Thank you, Armada Marandu. Thank you so much. Thank you, Alex. And thank you, Enrique Castillo. And that's all the tips. Um, thank you guys, like always. So this is comment, it's from like a UK video. <coughs> I just wanted to read it in case they were here. Cause I was talking about the roach thing, or whatever. Like roaches, I hate, how I hate roaches. And how I killed them with perfume or whatever's around. They said, said, Nina, I'm dying at the part where you said you'll fight a roach with a spray bottle of perfume. A roach ain't got no chance with me in a bottle of got, of got to be free spray. <laughs> Let me find out you killing the roaches with got to be hairspray, bitch, and giving them baby hairs and styling them. Okay. <laughs> I gotta try that. Well, let's get to this raw view, bitch. Oh, how long you been standing here? You know who it is. It's your girl. Come on. Come on, good filter. Girl, I'm gonna buy this. Is she kind of like a ribbon, like you think of like a blue ribbon, but like a white ribbon instead? <laughs> I'm gonna buy this. So this look from Alyssa Hunter, I'm going to buy it. And looking at the where they're, where they're at, I'm like, are they in, are they in a bowling alley, a theater? <laughs> I guess the theme is gaming or something or arcades, but I kind of wish that they would have like really went there and like had them in a video game or something. That'd have been cool. So 
So this is the queen that I said I know. Angeria Van Michael. <laughs> now, I told her, look, bitch, I'm going to read you. Like, you're my friend, but I'm going to read you. Like, it's what I do. Like, I'm not going to like everything. With that being said, oh, when I look hard, at, when I actually look hard at this, I can see her ball. I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> I can see her ball. Oh, somebody was hard that day. <laughs> I don't really expect this look from Angeria. I don't think it's really her, per se. I don't care for it that much. I'm still ecstatic to see her. Like, I guess you can say, I don't get into the whole, like, drag parenting and all that, but, like, I guess you can say I'm kind of, like, her first drag mom, in a way, because I did her makeup, like, first, as far as I remember, as far as I know. Um, here's a picture of that. But, um, and, and they actually, and, and her and her friend helped me audition for Drag Race. I can't remember if it was season four or whatever it was, but, like, we literally did it, like, at their apartment. I have one thing to say. You better work. Den -den 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 -den. Hey, y'all, this is my Pink Panther look. Um, painted on, once again, by yours truly, Nina, Bonina Brown. See ya. And they got, I was, I was a busted mess, but they helped me out. So we, we, we go back. So that's why I'm going to really be critiquing her. <laughs> and if she makes it further than me, I'm blocking her. Go! I think they said Fosco or Roscoe. Look, I'm going to go ahead and say it. I don't care. This is my channel. Y'all know. Y'all know, I say the things that people want to say, but too scared to say it. And you know, I'm going to speak my mind, and it's going to be respectful. It is. But girl, I'm kind of tired of the girls coming out with boy body. I'm sorry. And this has nothing to do with body shaming. Because I'm not saying their body looks bad or anything. But like, for me, I like illusions, not delusion. I'm sorry. I like a girl to come out and give me body like, I think what happens is a lot of drag queens think, okay, I got a little curve. My butt is a little kind of big, but it's like boy kind of curve, boy kind of butt. It's like, it's not giving like drag body. Even if you still don't want to pad that much, cinch in more or something and give me an illusion, cinch in or something. It's like, it's just giving me boy on stage. So I'm not going to buy a rent this look. Diabetty, I'm gonna buy this look. It's cute. Kind of give me rose, which gives me hives. Oh, y'all know why. But I'm going to buy this. Deja Sky. I didn't see her other look because I'm like having a hard time thinking like, is she black or does she just paint darker? Like I can't, I can't tell. But overall, anyway, this, this look is. I'm, I'm gonna buy it. It's cute. I am Jasmine Kennedy, and I got something to say. Um, this look, I'm not going to buy a rent it. It's kind of plain, which is cool. Maybe she was going for plain and simple. That's fine, but it just doesn't catch my eye. And just so y'all, because any girls that may come around here and watch my videos that are new on this season, don't get your panties in a bunch. Don't get offended. Don't get mad at nothing I say. It's just my opinions, girl. Y'all girls are on Drag Race, about to be touring the world, be booked, and living your life. This is just where I give my critiques and my honest opinion. So don't take anything to heart and go on Reddit and don't let these fans, not even fans, these bugaboos get in y'all's head being like, oh, guess what Nina said about you? Like, don't even fall for it. Just say to yourself. So this is Georgia. So a friend of mine thinks that she's the next Valentina. And I told him there could only be one Valentina. Like, there's nobody gonna ever take Valentina's place. She's Valentina, just like nobody can take my place or or Shay or whoever else. Um, but she's cute. I'm gonna rent this look. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, Jambalaya is her name. I'm buying this. Come on, big school African queen. And she actually looks like a black version of Jiggly Caliente. Like, literally the face says Jiggly Caliente. May I call you Jiggly? Nah, bitch, the name Jambalaya. My bad, okay, cool. Wait, I'm gonna actually rent it. <laughs> See, at first she was giving me like nude body illusion up top, but it's a brown turtleneck. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna rent it. Come on, face. Okay. <laughs> okay, she's cute. She kind of reminds me of Angeria a little bit. She's cute though. I see face with her. I see face. But she and she looks like she's bougie and stank. You can't tell her nothing. But we'll, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm, I'm gonna um, buy this look. No shade, girl. When Cornbread turned that corner, I really thought it was Silky Nutmeg Ganache. I, I, it looked just like Silky Nutmeg Ganache. I was like, wait. So I know that people actually been wanting Cornbread on Drag Race and now here she is. So girl, y'all got y'all Cornbread. Something tells me I, I, I don't know how they're gonna do. I don't know. You know, I wasn't trying to dig in for all the dirt. But something tells me y'all might get a big girl winner this season. I don't know who, but but we'll see. Word up. <laughs> kind of funky music. Um, but um um. So her look. I'll rent this another like you know I'm a skinny twink I'm not gonna really pad because I'm skinny but I'm going to um still rent the look I'm gonna rent it it's kind of Harley Quinn I'm gonna buy this look it's like your eyes are like it's like one of those books where you're like looking at all the stuff trying to see the the pattern in it I'm gonna buy this yeah How many queens is a bitch? She's cute. She kind of gives me pheromone in the face a little bit. Um, I'm gonna, um, I buy her look. I think she's cute. I like, I like her face. Right, I'm like, why is it an hour? Oh, she's cute. Okay, I'm buying her look. She is adorable. <laughs> she's adorable. She looks like some anime character bitch. Like, she's so adorable. I'm buying it. You already know she's gonna be a fan favorite girl. You know, this is what the. The fan base of Drag Race are 10 year old nerds with um, stink breath, with a lot of personality. So they're gonna love her, so. <laughs> oh, but RuPaul got a new song, child. It's kind of sexy, though. Okay. With 14 new queens who are all game to play. RuPaul looks, she looks good, you know, but the contacts are kind of scary. So the girls are doing like a Candyland theme. That's cool. Now things are getting spicy. Yes, <laughs> I love her face. She is so cute. She is. She is Blackfish. That's Blackfish. <laughs> I'm gonna outshine everyone else. Now, girl, that's a man. Girl, you ain't put on nobody's makeup. I know that in our minds and in our bathrooms, we're like, I'm kind of fish with just Carmax on and mascara. I don't need no powder or no lipstick or nothing. I look like fish. That's what the mirror tells me in my phone. I look like fish. Let me just tell you, sometimes it lies to you. Like At the end of the day, we're still men. <laughs> we're still men and we need a little more work on our face. Um. <laughs> Come true. Hope you saved room for dessert. <laughs> Drag Race premieres Friday, January 7th at 8 p.m. Dang, Friday, January 7th? I thought they were going to wait till like February or something like that. Not this, not, not January. And also, no shade. What was the point of making people get Paramount if y'all going to put it back on VH1? I'm so confused. Season 1, episode 4 to be exact. Wait, whatever the first three episodes Okay, so, Angeria, um, <laughs> as far as this look right here, I am going to buy the look. But girl, your face, you are giving me very much envy, your mom. <laughs> but I'm gonna buy the look, I'm gonna buy it. People first meet me, I think they say, oh my God, he is so lovely. And then I open my mouth, and then they say, this bitch is country as hell. <laughs> and y'all be nice to Angeria, because 
you know, one thing I know, she's a little worried about, you know, how to handle the fan base and like, I tell her, girl, don't do like I did. <laughs> ignore these bitches. Don't be trying to, f <laughs> just ignore them. Just live your life, girl. Belly. Hola, hunty lovers. It's me, Alyssa Hunter, and I have 50 years old. Now this look from Alyssa Hunter, I'm going to buy this look. I'm versatile, I can act, I can be funny. I am a top model, I have the best wrong way, so watch out bitches. She is so humble. I am, I honestly admire and I, my goal is to be that humble at life, honestly. Oh, oh my God, she's so good at this. I'm so good at this, this is crazy. Okay, this look, she looks like she has a little more body. I'm going to, I'll actually buy this look, I'll, I'll buy it. And I stink. <laughs> I stink. I smell really bad. I don't ever wash my tights. And you're proud of not washing your tights. And we all have goals. Um, this look goes. I'm going to buy this look though. It will forever be Daya Betty. Although I, I, I do sometimes just go by Betty. Oh, something tells me you'll be going by Betty soon. I'm quite sure you'll be canceled for this name. Hi, my name is Deja Sky. I'm 31 years old and I'm from Fresno, California. Yeah, I think Deja Sky is sickening. I still, I'm, I'm just confused on the foundation color. I'm just like, she's peach, she's orange, you know? But, um, nonetheless, it still looks good. And the fact that she sold her outfit, that is sickening. You did an awesome job, girl. She looks great, I'm gonna buy this. I mean, but also, you know, I do hold myself to like a certain standard. <laughs> like, I do like to look. I'm gonna buy this promo look. And I love, that has to be one of the most sickening, swept, clean, styled bangs I've ever seen. It's so well done. Whoever, whoever, whoever did that wig, you are a genius. You're an artist. You did a great job buying this look. Oh my God, what people first think about me, oh my God, if I had a queen superpower, oh my God, what made me want to start doing drag? Georgia's look for the promo, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't think it's really that good. Like. But she's seeing the whole thing, it's like, it just looks like half done or something. Um, yeah. I don't really care for this look. The drag in Texas is very pageanty, very like cookie cutter drag, I will say. Everyone's. She's lying, because the drag in Texas is not pageantry. The drag in Texas, I've seen drag in Texas, and they work hard at Starbucks, and they do a sickening primary number. Oh, here's a snippet. The fuck is that? Now that's not pageantry. That's sickening. That's fierceness. Facebook's drag race chosen her. <laughs> Doing what people first think about me when they first meet me, they think, "Oh my God, this bitch is gorgeous. Like she must be stuck up." Funny, I wasn't thinking that. <laughs> I eat cup of noodles with mustard. Yeah. June Jamalaya is sickening. Like, girl, if she became trans, girl, she gonna. You can't clock nothing on her. <laughs> that is fish. I'm buying this look. I don't take criticism well. I think people all naturally think because I'm a little... I actually appreciate her saying that because I, like, yeah, it's kind of hard to take critique, especially for certain people. You're like, girl, who are you? <laughs> I'm here to show you how to be a bad bitch. I'm 24 years old. I live in Los Angeles. Carrie Colby. I'm buying, like I said, I'm buying this look. She looks great. I, something this tells me I'm not gonna like her personality or her attitude. But I could be wrong. She might be the sweetest thing you ever did meet. But we'll find out when the show airs, but just judging off of this, I'm just like, she just gives me that girl who like, you know the girl that just, you can't tell them nothing. They, they think they're the, they are the best thing since chitlin' pies. But we'll see. The face has muscles, and I don't work out or use muscles, so girl is just gonna And then they think I wanna talk. Okay, cornbread. Looks sick, man. I'm gonna buy this. And she seems funny. <laughs> I'm gonna buy this look. Drag queens like attention, and I am one of those people. So if you say you don't like attention, you're lying. <laughs> She's telling the truth. People be like, like for real, it's, 
people do things because they want attention. That's part of it. Like that really is true. <laughs> I never do numbers over three minutes and thirty seconds. So I call my ride. Same girl. Like these clubs, we wanted you to do like a ten minute mix, girl. With whose feet? Mine's. Girl, bye. I don't want to win because I'm big. I want to win because I went there and I knocked out all the competition. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Not because you're big, but because you actually earned it. Thank you. It wasn't even close to fitting in my suitcase. So um, I just told the people that I was. Okay, now this look from Lady Camden, I'm going to buy. It's like a Willy Wonka, but like drag, eleganza. I like it. I'm going to buy this. Okay, I just want to keep it very demure. Hi, I'm Maddie Morphosis. Okay, so this is Maddie Morphosis. I. <laughs> I kind of hate this look. Not that it's like a bad look, but it's just it's something about it. it. It reminds me of somebody, I don't know. I, <laughs> I'm gonna rent it, but it's something about it. It reminds me of something that I don't like. I don't know what it is. And this is the, I think somebody said he's heterosexual. And I'm not gonna say nothing about that. I'm gonna actually move on to the next queen. If you see panties, it's, it's gonna have to be that way. If they're stoned anyways. <laughs> Well, like I was saying earlier, Orion wears the makeup, and secretly, she's kind of giving me early out tees. I just, I'm just like, where's the makeup? I'm sorry, where? <laughs> right, Cam. I'm Pill. I'm 26 <laughs> years old, and I'm from Denver, Colorado. The name? This look, I'm going to buy it. And I know she's going for that, that like anime blush that goes over the nose, like you're blushing and you sneeze. It just looks a little, um, kind of a little messy or something like that, I don't know. But I know this is the same queen that I was gagging over from the from the arcade part, but I'm buying the look, understanding it, it just looks like, maybe if the pink would've went over the, over the nose. But I still think she's so cute. Oh, that was it? Oh. <laughs> well, that was it, thank God. It's over. Girl. No shade, no pumpkin spice, no tea. That was boring. <laughs> I was bored. I'm not gonna lie. I was bored. And it doesn't mean that no, like it was kinda boring. It really was. Like I think it's like I'm not like I'm not gonna like put all the blame on that. I think part of the blame is me. Like I think I think I'm just kind of like that person who is secretly a little over drag race. I know. Like, I'm going to still do my raw views and all that for the girls, for the people, even though y'all been slacking on tips. But, um. <laughs> but I'm going to do it for you bitches. But I'm just like. I'm bored. It's like they think if they keep adding stuff, like let's put on a straight person, let's do this, let's do that, it's gonna make it so edgy and we're so cool. And it's like, it's not catching my attention. It's just not, it's just like, I'm happy to see the girls. Like I'm happy for the girls, I am. Like I, like, I am so happy for all of you bitches out there on this show because I know that y'all been sitting in silence waiting to be loud and say I'm on Drag Race and like it's your time to shine so congratulations to each one of you that made it on Drag Race season 14 I am so happy for all of you I truly am especially Angeria I'm happy for you girl me I'm just kind of over the show <laughs> unfortunately unfortunately I am like I hopefully it's good like hopefully it's a good season I'm just like you know, it's like, it's, it's just the same, the same thing every season, you know, just something different, you know, but it's like, okay. And I know I'm not, I'm not the only one out there that feels that way. But anyway, thank you guys for coming around and watching this. I hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, and remember, if you want to tip and all that, all that is in the description box down below. Thank you guys for coming and I will see you the next time. So remember, sweeties, stay beat. Stay beautiful, but most importantly, stay blessed, Kima Cho, or Kamochi. What's the problem? Come on, I'll take you home. <laughs> I'm so
so white and confused. Where is the manager? Where is FUBU?